This is a book published um, in 2009. Uh, it's by Monty Halls and it's called The Beachcomber Cottage. I think there's a, been a few different versions of this cover since then, so it may look different now. Um, I first watched this uh, TV series um, before the book came out and then bought the book following that and have read it a few times since then. Um, it's a really easy to read um, book, a non-fiction book about his experience. Um, I'll read you the um, synopsis. So it says, Many of us dream of escaping our stressful and frantic lives and starting over. In Beachcomber Cottage, Monty Halls puts his popular wish to the test by recreating the simple life of a crofter on the west coast of Scotland. A diary of his time in picturesque Sand Bay, Monty's story takes readers on an extraordinary journey from auspicious beginnings as he renovates his cottage and meets a rich cast of local characters. Through dark days when he yearns for the trappings of urban existence, armed with little more than optimism and a basic knowledge of DIY, and with a gigantic, possibly insane dog, Reuben, as his companion, Monty raises sheep, pigs and chickens, grows his own vegetables and learns all about life on the wild west coast. He regales us with tales of the Highland Games, boat pulling, the scourge of midges, and living on the most dramatic landscape in Europe. It's an unforgettable account of a life-changing adventure. Now, I read this after um, watching the series, um, so I already knew kind of the what went on. Um, but it's really easy to read, and it's quite a big book. It's got 200 and... Let's see. 285 pages um, and there's also some really good um, colour photos there's a few few pages of photos in the book um, and the, the font's quite quite big in there um, so it's a really good easy reading non-fiction um, account of his year on the Scottish coastline. Um, really interesting to see how he lived semi self-sufficient in a small croft um, which is a sort of self-sufficiency um, little cottage that he rebuilds and um, it's got a, a ruin when he first goes up there, rents it from the local landowner and um, makes it habitable. Um, and it's a really, really nice location out on the Scottish coast. Um, I think there was parts where we saw whales and dolphins going up the coast. Um, and it talks about him raising animals and growing vegetables. Um, and generally, it's a really easy book to read. Um, talks a lot about community and the way the sort of history of Scotland how people used to live and how some people still live that life um, and he gets a lot of help from local people trying to set up his, his croft. Um, following this book there was another one where he did a similar thing on a one of the Hebridean islands um, and he became a ranger for that island um, which is also a really good book and later on a couple of years later he did another series where he did uh, another project in Ireland where he helped the Whale and Dolphin Society and went out with them on, on his boat to record uh, the dolphin numbers in the bay. Um, all of those had TV series linked with them um, so they were, they were really good TV programs as well as good books um, and he's written some other books as well. Um, he has a really good writing style that I, I like. It's very, very, um, very good at explaining sort of landscape and how his, you know, his, his diary of what he does. Um, 
So I would definitely recommend it. It's from BBC Books and the programs were on the BBC. Um, 